What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Hope all you're having a great day so far. What is this? Why is stuff always popping up on my computer? Anyway, um, you know, I actually forgot that tomorrow is actually my birthday. I literally did not think about my birthday since this year has started. I just literally got reminded that tomorrow is my birthday. So I just remembered that. It's like, you know, I, over the years, I've always been excited whenever my birthday comes up. But this year, I haven't really thought about it, like, at all, to the point where I literally forgot. <laughs> and it came so quickly, and I got reminded today, somebody was like, oh, it's your birthday tomorrow. I was like, I didn't think about the shit. I was like, I really haven't. I really haven't cared. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, getting into this episode, it was good to see Spinelli. It really was. Um, Spinelli has this crazy ass plan to go to Europe and pretend to be Heinrich so he can access Faison's, um, safety deposit box or whatever. I was like, this mother, Spinelli, you one smart bastard. I like it. Spinelli being all double agent and shit. I like this. I hope we get to see it on screen. I don't want to see this shit off screen. I don't want to hear about it. I want to see it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I think that this reminds me so much of when Luke used to like, remember when, um, he went like Luke used to go out of the country and stuff like that. And I remember lucky was in like a prison or whatever. And, and I think in, uh, Ireland, he was in like an Ireland prison or something like that. And Luke pretended to be a priest or something like that to get in. Like Luke was literally one of the masters of disguise on this show. Like he used to, uh, pretend to be doctors i remember he went to that clinic where we met obrecht in switzerland where they was keeping aj and phase on and all them and luke went up in there pretending to be some hot shot doctor <laughs> that shit was funny so i would love to see spinelli do that like i think that'd be so cool that'd be so dope um this dumbass plan of nails is not gonna work her trying to make carly look crazy i feel like this plan would only work if it was just sunny in them I feel like Sonny and him would start to doubt her. I think he would, especially with all the craziness going on with Mike and stuff like that. Sonny would start to, you know, pat her on the head and tell her you're imagining things or you're thinking about Morgan. So it's making you think of these things. You know how Sonny do. But with Jason, hell no. Jason know what's some shit going on. He know. Jason already know what's some shit. Because Jason, he's known Carly for over 20 damn years. We all know Carly's crazy, but she's not psychotic crazy. You know what I'm saying? She's not that type of crazy. And at first, I thought Nell was going to leave the scarf there. I was about to say, that shit is stupid if you leave that scarf there. Because they could easily test that blood. But she pulled the fire alarm to cause a distraction so Carly would have to leave her office so she could come back and get the scarf. So that way, when Carly come back, the scarf ain't there no more. You know what I'm saying? And her story would sound crazy when she tell people the story of how the same scarf she got Morgan was sitting on the table, torn up, bloody. But then when she came back to the office, it wasn't there. Of course, people would start to doubt that. But you're dealing with Jason Morgan. He ain't, trust me, Jason ain't dumb. He ain't gonna believe Carly crazy. He knows she crazy, but she ain't that damn crazy not to be imagining things. You know what I'm saying? So they're gonna get to the bottom of this shit. Nell's so damn stupid. I'm like, don't the Metro Court got cameras outside of Carly? They should have cameras outside of Carly's office because every hotel has cameras. Every building, business building, whatever, they all got cameras in the hallways leading to offices. They got cameras literally all over that bitch. So it ain't shit that you can't do that, they, that security ain't seeing. You know what I'm saying? So they should have cameras all over. If the bitch was smart, if... Nell was smart, she would have found a way to turn those cameras off for a little minute if she was smart. Hopefully, she was smart enough to do that, because if not, you're going to leave a, a trail, as she always does, because there's always some type of trail that leads back to Nell and her lies. Um, But either way, this plan ain't going to work, because you got Jason on the case, so you know this shit ain't going to work, not for too much longer, because you know Jason is going to be on the scent. Um... And it ain't going to take long for them to figure out Nell was behind this shit. All you got to do is put two and two together. Two plus two equal four. That's all you got to do. Um, Do a little math. Anyway, 
I love the scenes as usual with Mike, you know, and Sonny. I knew Sonny would go to Andre for the whole memory mapping thing because he definitely want to help his father with his memory. So I knew he would eventually go to Andre. Because, you know, Andre still feel bad about what happened with Drew and Jason, so he wants to make amends. So Sonny feels like this is your, you know, the way to make amends by you helping my father with his memory. I think this is going to be a very compelling storyline because this Alzheimer's story is already very compelling. So I think it's going to be even great now that Andre is a part of it. Um, Anna and Finn, I don't know how I feel about them no more. because I'm torn. I really am. I On the one hand, I like her with Finn. On the other hand, her and Andre, I, I feel that connection between her and Andre. And it would be such a different romance for her with Andre. Not because he's black or nothing like that, but it'd be something different. But um, I I really want to see where this is all gonna go. Like I really like her with Andre, but I like her with Finn too. So it's like I'm I'm it's a toss up. So for me, whatever way the writers choose to go with this, I feel like I'm gonna be with it. You know what I'm saying? Because like it, this is the kind of thing where you can't go wrong. Like you know, it's a toss up. I don't I don't really have you know I can't say oh I want her with Andre only or i want her to fit it's like it could be either one and i'm cool you know what i'm saying because she got chemistry with both which is not all you know it's a rarity nowadays in a soap opera where somebody got chemistry with you know everybody but <laughs> it's like they all got chemistry so and they're all different you know when you see her with andre it's a different vibe when you see her with finn it's a different vibe so it's a toss-up i mean whichever way they go i'm cool I just want Anna to have some damn happiness. Like, I'm tired of all this sorrow and pain and looking for Heinrich. Like, it's time for her to get back to her badass self and have some romance to go with it. I just feel like it's time. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's get on with the romance and get on with the ass kicking. Alexis was annoying today, as usual. She was just all over the place. She's sitting there telling Julian her and Finn are together. They're serious. I said, Alexis, you are 50-something years old. Be honest with this man and tell him that you still love him because it's quite obvious. I mean, if she didn't love Julian no more, she didn't want to be with Julian, you would not have to come up with all these lies. I'm just saying, you wouldn't have to come up with all this bullshit. You would simply tell him to his face, I don't want to be with you no more. We're done. We're over. We're divorced. I don't want you. Bye-bye. That's all you have to say if you're really over somebody. But the simple fact that you have to make up a relationship just so he can move on with somebody else, you're still in love, point blank. You just don't want to admit it. And I feel like part of her don't want to admit it because I feel like it's outside forces, like her daughters and stuff that would judge her for going back to him, you know, after everything that happened. So I feel like that's part of the reason why she don't want to. But um, at this point, Julian and Kim, I'm here for them. I really am. They're my new favorite couple. And that kiss that they had, I, I knew at some point it was going to get physical between them. I say, yep, here we go. Time to get it on. I'm glad Julian moving on good. It's about damn time. Not to say he perfect or nothing like that because he did his dirt in the relationship. But all of this right now is just a little kid game. And, you know, they're adults. So it's time, like, you know, let's move on here. Um... I do want to see more Brad and Lucas, like, as far as their adoption storyline. Like, I'm tired of hearing about it. I want to see it. You know what I'm saying? They talk about it in passing, but we're not seeing the steps taken to it. And I really want to see the steps that they have to go through to get to this adoption. Um, I think it would be pretty dope to see the steps taken to get there. Sam. Sam was sitting there with all them boohoo tears. I was not feeling bad for her. I felt bad for Drew. I did not feel bad for Sam. All her excuses for not telling him sooner. I did not blame Drew for leaving and telling her, Scout is always going to be my daughter. She's always going to have a place in my heart. That's my child. But I can't say the same for you. I said, boom. That's how you do it. Tell her that shit. I don't know about you. You know what I'm saying? He just needs time to to think about all this. But I already know him and Jason going to get into it. When he see Jason, oh, they're going to get into it. Oh, it's going to get physical. When he heard that Sam and Jason kissed on New Year's, he even Drew said he said he felt that vibe from them, that they were hiding something. He, Him and Jason going to fight. I feel like it's been coming to that. Like, they need to fight. 
I, I really want to see this blow up. I want to see it because it's been building and building, and you could just tell that they just want, well, you could tell Drew been wanting to beat the shit out of Jason. <laughs> but I'm here for this fight. Y'all want to fight? Let's, hey, knuckle up. I'm, I'm ready for this. I don't know who going to win this fight, though. Because Jason can kick some ass, but Drew could fight, too. So, I don't know. I mean, who y'all got? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I st I think Jason could kick Drew ass. I mean, he got more of a build, you know. He's more buffer than him, so, you know. But they both got hands, so I'm just saying. All I know is somebody going to get fucked up around here. Um, But, yeah, I was not feeling sorry for Sam. I really wasn't. All them crocodile tears, I wasn't feeling sorry for her. Yeah. You reap what you sow. She should have been honest from the get-go. And, you know, you you made up these lies. Like, you, not lies, but I felt like it wasn't a total lie, but it was a lie by omission in a way. Um, you know, she was lying to herself, definitely, you know. But, um, I I mean, if they end up getting a divorce, it is what it is, like. You made your bed. You got to lie in that shit. Like, you should have been honest with that man from jump. Because I knew she was full of shit because your husband comes back after being presumed dead for five years. That love don't go away. And her and Jason been with each other for, what, 15 years? Off and on for since, what, 2003, 2004? So they've been together, what, 14, 15 years? About 14 years, I think. Off and on. So that love when you've been with somebody that long, that love don't go away. You know what I'm saying? That's like Sonny being presumed dead for five years. Carly moves on to another dude. That love, please, she would have went back to Sonny like that. Because the love don't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like you, they, you know, when you got strong feelings and y'all been together so long, that shit don't go nowhere. So if you sitting there trying to put up a front like, oh, I don't want that person back. I moved on. You're full of shit. You're lying. You're lying to the people that you're with, and you damn sure lying to yourself. Stop that lying. Like, own it. You know what I'm saying? That's all you can do. Own your shit. You know what I mean? Sam, you waited too long to own it. <laughs> like, you waited way too long. You waited six months to own it. Like, it's been six months, going on six months. It's been half a damn year. You waited half a year to finally tell these men how you really feel I would dump your ass too especially when he asked you he told Sam three times if you love Jason if you still love Jason I will step aside he said that to her three times no wonder he's mad bitch he gave you out three times you didn't take it I would chalk up the deuces to your ass too shit if I'm giving you out three times and you refuse to take it to my oh no I'm, I don't want that person but now you come to me a couple months later talking about I want oh, I st I love you both. No, nah, you can't love us both. I mean, yeah, you can love somebody both, but you can't have your cake and eat it too, though. You can't. That that ain't how this shit work. Like, you should have been honest from the get go, and he would have been a lot more understanding. Seeing as how he gave you out three times and you didn't want to take it, he would have been a lot more understanding back then. But you married this man again. Which solidified and told him, okay, she chose me. She's still in love with me. Now you come to him two months after the wedding told him something, you still in love with your ex? After you done remarried him and committed yourself to him? I'm not here for your tears. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm like that drug. I'm like Novocaine. I'm not feeling for you. I have no feeling for her at all. None. You reap what the hell you sow and it is what it is. Get over it. But anyway, I think that's everything in this episode. But um it was a pretty uh it was a pretty all over the place episode, I will say. You know, it was a lot of characters. Some stories were moving today, so the stories are moving today, thank God. Um But yeah, let me know. Hit the comment section, let me know how y'all feel. I will see y'all Monday. Um and the next time I see you all on Monday, I will be officially twenty five. I am officially about to be a quarter of a century old. Like, that shit is fucking with me. But anyway, have a great weekend. I'll see y'all on Monday. Peace.